We're nearly halfway through the year and right at the start of summer where violence tends to increase based on what we've tracked time and time again. Good Wednesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. Lizzie Siles takes a look at Peoria's homicides so far and the track record in solving them. Lizzie. Tyler and Amber, good evening. Five months into the year, there have been eight homicides in Peoria so far. For comparison, there were nine this time last year. Peoria's crime data shows a slight decrease in homicides over the past couple of years, but there's a notable difference in the homicides so far. Peoria's homicide data so far is split in half. Half of Peoria's homicides this year are the result of people being shot, while nearly all of Peoria's homicides last year were related to gun violence. There's been four other violent deaths in Peoria, two stabbings and two instances of blunt force trauma. The most recent was a 14-year-old who hit 50-year-old Tony Collier with a cinder block. The other split, the solve rate. For four of the eight homicides, police have either arrested suspects or are looking for them. Two of those arrests stem from women attacking their partners. 22-year-old Heaven Cruzan is accused of stabbing her boyfriend. 41-year-old Lorraine Singleton is also accused of stabbing and killing her boyfriend, 50-year-old James Davis, earlier this month. And looking at another city in our area, Bloomington has had two homicides by our count. For both, police are either looking for a suspect or have one in custody. Back to you.